what's up what's up it's your girl Neek, and i'm coming to y'all live and direct from my car because baby the traffic is trafficking right now i am about to be on the road for a very long time and i'm just like listen why not talk to y'all and get some good old content out for y'all so if you guys know or if y'all don't know there is this chef called darius cooks and he has been in a lot of controversies from alleged people alleging that he scammed them people saying that he copied like their cookbooks and so much more allegations against him that he really doesn't have a good reputation now darius cooks is also doing food reviews on restaurants similarly to how keith lee goes to different restaurants films it and basically gives his opinion all right so here's a couple examples of some of his review style and then we're gonna get into the nitty and gritty of what's going on now you already know it gets a one out of five for me i'm darius cooks and i'm reviewing every black owned restaurant in america this is poppy cuisine it's located in baltimore and they specialize in Instagram food. Food that looks halfway decent but tastes absolutely horrible. Not only did the waitress spill lemonade on me, but we sent the lemonade back and the ginger ale. They just couldn't get it right. None of the six of us enjoyed our food. They claim to have a three hour roux gumbo. Well, they need to give me back two hours and 45 minutes. Oh, and they sliced the egg rolls before frying them. The place is super popular and half the city loves it. The other half, well, they think a chicken box tastes better. You already know it gets a one out of five for me. This is Balk, an urban eatery. It's located in Sacramento, but here's what I noticed. They use absolutely no salt in their food. I'm not sure if I was eating at a restaurant or the Shady Pines nursing home because I was looking for Sophia. I ordered quite a few things. The blackened salmon was pretty horrific. The fried chicken is making the ancestors and their homegirls upset. You already know it gets a two out of five for me. This is Fixins, a Southern inspired outpost owned by former NBA player and former mayor Kevin Johnson. It's located in Sacramento. I ordered quite a few things. The fried green tomatoes were just okay. The pimento cheese dip should just stay pimento cheese. I did try the gumbo. I wouldn't order it again. As you can see, I was able to have a 20 minute conversation with the manager. Be sure to check out the full review. Okay, so as you see, that is Darius Cooks. He is, like I said, a chef. And now he brung his talents to Miami. And he brung that same energy that he had in those reviews to Miami to do food reviews there. And let's just get into how that all unfolded. He is alleging that he was in Miami and the owner of one of the restaurants called The Lickin' ran up on him and he is accusing him of simple battery and assault. We're about to file a report for a uh, simple battery and assault with the Miami Police Department, just FYI. Okay, and he's saying he's pressing charges and he's even going so far as to saying that if he ends up deleted, if somebody take him off of this earth, he is alleging that it is the guy from The Lickin' who did it. Now, I am about to share with y'all the video of his description of what happened. And then after I show y'all his video of the description of what happened, then I'm going to come back and read to y'all what he put in his profile thinking that the man is now gonna off him and end his life let me show y'all the video i was live on um on this page at arlene's and when i left arlene's we left arlene's to come to another restaurant so we got out the car and drove to come to this other restaurant what's up man i'm good how you doing and so we're here and there's no parking so we're driving around looking for a parking spot right in fact we found a parking spot the next block over from where the restaurant is that we were going to so there's no way that somebody would have known where we were because we don't even know where the hell we are we don't know where we were going we have no idea uh where we are so we finally find a park as a matter of fact i'll show you where we parked so you can actually see it um and you can kind of see what i'll walk you through what happened here's the police so i got one police there another one's across the street and we're about to file a report for uh, a uh, simple battery and assault with the Miami Police Department, just FYI. Okay, 
So we're driving around looking for parking, right? So this black minivan is ours. This is what we rented for dining with Darius Cooks, this black minivan right here, right? So Corey is driving, I get out of the car, someone approaches me from this parking lot right here, right? So somebody's parked in this parking lot. There's two cars here. There's a black Toyota Sienna and a Wagoneer. The guy E-Class comes out of the Sienna and he approaches me right here, okay, by the car. Now, I'm putting in the license plate because you gotta pay for parking. So the phone is in my hand while I'm pulling in the license plate on the back of the car. I'm standing literally right here. This is where I'm standing. And he walks up toward me, all right? He walks up toward me. He says to me, he says, I'm E-Class and I wanna talk to you. That's what he said. He said, I'm E-Class, I wanna talk to you. It happened so fast. Unfortunately, I couldn't get what he was wearing. Uh, you know, it just should just happen in two seconds. So it was like, and then, you know, I don't know these people, so I don't know if he's coming up to say, you know, like the guy just walked past just now and said, hey, what's up, chef? I don't know if he's just saying, hey, you know, uh, love your work, or if he's saying, hey, uh, fucking hate you. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know what he up and approached me for. So me and Corey are both on guard, so we kind of step back. So my phone is in my hand, obviously, unprotected. He grabs the phone out of my hand and puts the phone in his pocket. So then Corey has his camera in his hand and he turns or well, he walks toward Corey and he tells Corey like three times I'm gonna kill you to Corey right because I'm gonna kill you so he grabs he um it's acting like he's gonna grab the camera from Corey but Corey put the camera in his back in the car so he can kind of protect himself and when he realized Corey was about to start recording that's when he gave me my cell phone back turned around walked away he got in his car and the reason I couldn't get his license plate is because he was backed in. So this is the lot that he was in right here. There's Corey right there. But this is the lot he was in. So this is where his car was parked. He backed. He, you see how this car is facing that way? The front of his car was facing me. So because the front of his car was facing me, the front of his car was facing me. So we couldn't see the back of his car. So I couldn't see the license plate. But it don't matter because now we know who the hell he is. His name is E-Class. He confirmed that. That's how I know who he is. The picture online, all his photos, because he's a popular person, all his photos match who the hell we saw. So it's definitely him. His fingerprints are on my phone. So when the detectives get here, they're going to swab the phone and get the fingerprints off so that now we have concrete proof. How did my cell phone obtain your fingerprints? So he gave it back and then he ended up backing out and the person that was with him uh, they ended up driving forward. And so when I was on the phone with the police, I was able to get that license plate. Um, but that wasn't the car he was in. It was whoever was with him or whoever drove over here with him. I was able to get that license plate. And then that's the one I gave to the police. So physically, I'm fine, right? Physically, I'm not harmed. Physically, I'm not okay. Just mentally very, very shaken up by the whole thing. Um, not shaken up to the point where you know, I am not going to do the work or not shaking up to the point where I'm not going to do restaurant reviews because that is not stopping. We talking about a little baby in his restaurant. Black little baby in his restaurant. You talking about me eating at somebody's fucking restaurant. Right. That will continue. And listen, I'm not afraid of death. If it's my time to go, it's my time to go. I've lived an amazing life. You know what I'm saying? So that don't bother me. So don't cry for me over that. Um, but at the same time, I just think that instead of trying to physically harm somebody or instead of trying to uh, come after someone because you don't like what they said about your business or your establishment, fix it, right? You're talking about me eating at somebody's fucking restaurant. Fix the problems. Do what you gotta do, take care of it, fix it, and then everything goes away. But apparently, uh, you know, an outsider coming into your city echoing the same sentiments that you guys have been saying over and over. Here's the detective right here. So I'm gonna have to go. Um, but echoing the same sentiments y'all have said over and over and over again, I don't understand why that is such an issue or a problem. Okay, so as you see, he's over there like, oh, other people gave a bad review too. Other people didn't give like a good review like me. Well, other people that he's talking about is Keith Lee. Now, he thought he could go and give it be on Keith Lee timing and tried to do the same thing. Let me show you. Keith Lee's review when he went to the lick-in, and then we're gonna get back into this gig. I'm in Miami, and we went to the lick-in. It has gotten mixed reviews. Some people like it, some people hate it. Uh, some people gave it an eight out of 10. Some people gave it a one out of 10. 
I got some deep fried broccoli. I've never had that before. Mac and cheese, chicken Alfredo, and then chicken rolls. That has no flavor at all. It just tastes like oil. I get that at zero out of 10. This is the chicken roll. The flavor is good. It's very dry, like extremely dry. I can't get over how dry it is. It's even hard to swallow mac and cheese. I give it like a four out of 10. Overall, this is the second restaurant I've been to while I've been in Miami. I'm not a fan of the food so far. Me personally. God bless. Okay, so as you see, that was Keith Lee's review of The Lickin'. And now let's get back to Darius and his situation with one of the people from The Lickin', okay? But, you know, it is what it is. I'm never going to stop telling you the truth. I'm never going to stop speaking my truth. Uh, you know, if every restaurant owner want to find me and assault me, then every restaurant owner going to find me and assault me. That's it. But I'm not hiding. I'm not under a rock. I'm not hiring security. I'm not doing any of that. These are restaurant reviews. This is not, I'm not robbing the bank here. You see what I'm saying? Listen, I'm going nowhere. I'm staying right here and we will be recording these reviews and that's what we're doing. If you got a problem with it, you're just gonna have a problem with it. But I'm doubling down. Even after what just happened, I'm still doubling down. So there you have it. Okay, so as you see him basically describing what happened and basically saying that he was gonna call and press charges the police were there and he said he's gonna lift off the fingerprints and he's gonna you know do the csi investigation to prove that the guy e-class is the one who took his phone etc so after that he took to his instagram page to basically proclaim this statement of if he ends up deleted it was the guy who did it so on his post he says posting this in case i end up deleted okay e-class sis the owner i guess he meant e-class is the owner of the lick in miami south he followed Corey and i from arlene's restaurant to the next spot we were circling for parking so there is no way he knew where we would be he walked up to me and grabbed my cell phone out of my hand and attempted to assault Corey until he realized he had a camera he handed my phone back to me and when I called the police, ran back to his black Toyota Sienna and reversed out the parking lot so I couldn't get his plate. I'm fine, a bit shaken, but the police are here and I'll be okay. But, but if I die, you know how it happened child so apparently people are alleging that he did an unfavorable review of the licking now i did not see his review of the licking um i looked on his page maybe he deleted it i really don't know but y'all have to stop with these automatic i'm gonna die because you you face another man like i am so sick and tired of people going the extreme route maybe he feels like the guy followed him and been stalking him i don't know why he would go to the stream because they had a like a you know an in-person interaction to now the guy's gonna delete him off the face of the earth i really don't know um but there was a lot of people who did not believe him there were some people who said that he was making it up he was incredible and then there was people who brought up the fact that i guess he said um time or two again that ain't nobody gonna run up on him or say nothing to him because he's big or because of his size or whatever like that and i just want to know what is going on with these full reviews now as you guys know darius um not darius keith lee when he went to Atlanta and when he basically was giving his opinion on what was going on in Atlanta, there was some goons kind of making threats and saying like what he better not do X, Y, Z. And I'm like, is food reviewing now dangerous? Like what? But there was also people who were saying that Darius Cooks is no Keith Lee and they were saying that he just straight on craps on black businesses. I really don't know. I'm not really into his gig like that. But since I have to sit in traffic for a very long time, I decided to drop that off real quick. And y'all let me know what y'all think about it. Okay, let's talk about it down below. And um, 
Y'all let me know what's the given. He said the guy took his phone, put it in his pocket, gave him his phone back, and he said he is calling the laws, and he is saying that he is in fear of his life because he's saying, if I die, y'all know how it happened. Child, is it given that? If it, is it given that? Like, y'all let me know down below, and we'll talk about it on the next video. I mean, yeah, we'll talk about it in the comments. We ain't gonna talk about it in the next video because I don't even cover this, man. Oh, my God. I think this is literally the first video that I've done on him but y'all know who he is because child y'all have asked me to do videos on him before but anyways child it is what it is let, let, let's talk down below